So Jake found this wrench out in the van trailer. It was a three and 15 sixteenths and I need four. So I turned it into a four. <laughs> I took a, a disc grinder, a little teeny one on a, oh, there's my blood all over. See, I even put my blood into this. Used a rotary file and uh, Rotary, rotary file on these little three inch, two inch, whatever they are. These little buggers. Try to file. Said heck no. So anyway, now I got a slugger wrench, or we'll take it and put it in the ripper pin hole, put a block under it, and get the backhoe, push on it, and loosen it up.
taking? Huh? How much force is it taking? Not hardly any. Matt, could you grab that four inch socket? It's in there on the bench or that little flat table. Come help them, dog. <laughs> Easy does it. <laughs> that one must not have been too tight. So I got all my nuts off. That worked out really well. You know, I had gone out to the van trailer and looked and looked for any wrenches like that. And lo and behold, Jake went out and found that under some stuff. So 
So all I had to do is make it fit the nut because it was 3 and 15 sixteenths instead of 4. But that worked like a charm. I had some guys tell me to do that. Can't remember who, but anyway, thanks for the tip. I was thinking about it, but just couldn't find the wrench. So now all I got to do is get these ripper cylinders, rods in, and the back of the truck, and the dozer ones, and get them over to Andy over in Napa. Advantage Machine. He does this kind of work. And get them fixed. I've ordered all the new bearings for the barrels and all new pins too and I got those from Floor and Tractor and my good friend in Petaluma uh, Vic Chapetta knows Dennis one of the owners of Florin and I get I'd given all the part numbers to Vic and uh, he gave them to Dennis and he has everything so 1700 bucks for all the pins and bearings I didn't think that was bad at all so anyway um, Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do here. I just got to put coveralls on and start digging in the back end and get that done, get the converter out, get through that, get the hydraulic tank off, start building hoses. I'm going to have to find some dies. Uh, I bought me a hydraulic pump a power unit to be able to run the hose press. I need to build a bench to set all that on. But the big 50-ton cat hose press setup, I don't have any dies for. So my 30-ton portable one, I guess I could try to see if I can get those sleeves off. But I bet some of them have been on there a long time. They might be a little difficult. I might need the bigger one. So I'm going to have to start figuring out which dies I need and get those so I can get working on that.